Hi there! In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to create light gray brushes in Photoshop. These brushes are great to enhance the existing light on your photos or add light ray overlays to your photo manipulations or paintings. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new document and set its width and height to 5000 pixels and resolution to 72 and hit create. Let's change our workspace to Essentials as it's set to 3D at the moment by going to Window and then Workspace and then Essentials. Now grab the Paint Bucket tool which sits under the Gradient tool or you can just press the shortcut G. Pick a black color and fill the background layer with it. Create a new empty layer by clicking the Create a new layer button at the bottom of the layers panel and name it Rays. Now grab the elliptical marquee tool and select the middle part of the image and click and drag outward to make a circle. Now go to select and then modify and then feather selection and set feather radius to 200 pixels and hit OK. Set black as your background and white as your foreground and make sure the Rays layer is active by clicking on it. Now go to Filter and then Render and then hit Clouds. Now hit Command D on a Mac or Control D on a PC to deselect it. Now to create the base of our light beam Photoshop brushes you need to blur the clouds you rendered in the previous step. And there are plenty of variations of Rays you can create. I'm going to demonstrate two different brushes to you in this tutorial. So select the Rays layer and hit Command J on a Mac or Control J on a PC to create a duplicate of the layer. Name the new layer Rays 1. Make the Rays layer invisible by clicking on the eye icon to the left of the layer. Click on the Rays 1 layer to select it and then go to Filter and then Blur and radial blur and set amount to 99 and select the zoom blur method let the quality be good and move the blur center to the top left corner and hit ok to make the sun rays more prominent go to image and then adjustments and then levels and set the input levels to 25 for shadow input level 0.65 for mid-tone input level and 205 for highlight input level and hit OK. To add more details to the rays, let's sharpen our rays a little and for that go to filter and then sharpen and then unsharp mask and set the amount value to 1% and radius to 180 pixels and hit OK. Now this is the base for our first brush. Let's make this layer invisible for now by clicking on the eye icon on the left side of the layer so you can focus on creating another brush. Select the raised layer and hit Command J on a Mac or Control J on a PC to make a duplicate. Name the new layer Raise 2. Make Raise 2 layer visible by clicking the eye icon and drag it to the top. And with this layer selected, go to Filter and then Blur and then Radial Blur and set the amount to 99. Select Zoom Blur method and set the Blur Center to the upper center of the image and hit OK. We've already created the shapes of our brushes, now we need to make the actual brushes using them. So let's do that for the first brush. Make the Raise 1 layer visible and the Raise and Raise 2 layers invisible. We need to invert the colors to create the proper shape of the brushes. So to do that, with the Raise 1 layer selected, go to Layer and then New Adjustment Layer and then Invert. From the pop-up, you can give the new layer any name of your choice. I'm going to keep it as it is and hit OK. And this will create another layer right above the Raise 1 layer. 
Let's drag it to the top and go to select and then all to select the whole image. Go to edit and then copy merged to copy it and edit and then paste to paste it. This will make another layer so all we need to do is define our brush. So lastly go to edit and then define brush preset and name the brush raise one. Now let's make our brush two using the same method. So let's make all the other layers invisible and make raise two visible. And with raise two layer selected, go to layer and then new adjustment layer and then invert. Let's name it raise two and hit OK. Now with this inverted layer selected, go to select and click all and the entire image will be selected. Next go to edit and click copy merged and then edit and click paste and this will create brush 2 for us. So let's define it by going to edit and then define brush preset. Name your brush raise 2 and hit OK. So now we've learned how to create brushes and have made two brushes for this illustration. So let's use one of the brushes on one of the images I have here. I don't want to disturb my image here, so I'm going to click create a new layer button at the bottom of the layers panel to make another layer. And with the new layer selected, I'm going to grab the brush tool. And let me show you where our brushes are sitting. You see they are under explosion brushes, both raise one and raise two. So let's select raise two brush and ensure that the foreground is white. Let's click to add the rays. I think we'll have to reduce the intensity of the brush. So let's reduce the opacity to about 40% and then click to add the rays. You might have to click more than once for the right effect. And there you go. You've successfully tested your own light ray brush. All right, guys, that concludes our session today. I hope you've enjoyed it and have learned something new from it. So please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Until we meet again next week on Sunday with another exciting tutorial. Until then, goodbye and thanks for watching.